My dear friends around the world, hi everybody. So some people ask me a question. If I haven't been scared during a flight? Now, short answer is yes, actually, many times. But, you know, we need to agree in what the, the word fear, got scared, means. Because uh, fear is a good feeling that, as a human being, we have to have to survive. Uh, it helps us uh, to have awareness of the risk, of the threat around that we have, and therefore to, make, to be ready to, to challenge this threat, to increase our adrenaline level, to be more focused, uh, and therefore, even as a pilot, it's very, very important that we don't, uh, you know, behave like, oh, anything, everything is easy, everything, I can do everything, you know, with a lot of arrogance. I was talking about that a uh, few days ago, that's why I got the idea to shoot this video with my physiotherapist, Marco, who's actually fixing my back after years of landing, takeoff, you know, vibrations, uh, who was a professional boxer. Uh, and so, uh, a few days ago, I asked him this question as well, you know, like, uh, before I, any match, you know, were you scared or not? And of course, he replied to me very naturally, like, yes, of course, you have to be scared, you know. You cannot uh, uh, jump uh, into the ring uh, thinking that you are the strongest, everything is easy. Those are the people who usually get punched mostly. And as a pilot, yeah, okay, nobody's punching us, but uh, likely. <coughs> but uh, yeah, but it's the same thing, you know. We need to know, we know that the, the energy of, you know, the nature is stronger than, than, than us. You know, that the error is around the corner at any time. So with this in mind, of course, with our training, with our experience, but we need to know that uh, anything can become very, very uh, tricky, you know, and, and that's how sometimes our uh, fear, our, uh, you know, getting scared of the situation, instead, it's not bad, it helps us to solve the problem, uh, to go ahead with the flight. Not to be confused with panic, okay? That's why some people, I think, uh, misunderstand the two, the two terms, you know? Uh, fear is a good thing because it helps us to survive. Panic, no, is an excess of fear. It's when everything is out of control, of course, and we lose our mind. And yeah, definitely a pilot uh, who, you know, can easily get into panic. Yeah, maybe that's not the right job to do. You know, a person like this maybe should not be in, in a cockpit, you know. Uh, but no, <clears throat> for example, to give an example of many years ago when I was flying this, this building, you know, the MD-80 in Alitalia, I was still an FO, and uh, no, we were landing in Palermo. Palermo is a very peculiar airport because there is a mountain on one side, the sea, and the wind uh, sometimes can be really, really strong, change directions. So wind shear is a phenomenon quite common in the airport. And so, so, as a pilot, we are always aware of that, we are ready. But the day, everything was very nice, a beautiful day, sunny, and I was landing you know, nicely, it was almost, uh, I was almost touching down. And suddenly the wind, I don't know what's going on, turns the way that the aircraft from be straight on the runway. <coughs> Sorry. Suddenly the, the nose was turning on the other side towards the mountain, you know, the, I, I saw the runway on, on my left. <coughs> I imagine you know, that the mountain is on one side, that the, the runway was getting to the end because the aircraft was flying still over the runway. And the aircraft was somehow was like not going down, not going up, but was stuck there. And so, no, I'm making it longer, but you know, in a second you need to decide what to do. And so, uh, the options, okay, I, I wanted to go, go around, but the mountain is there. I, I'm not sure I, I have the space to do it, but, uh, or I need to touch down quickly, put the wheels on the runway so that, that then I can break. But somehow the aircraft was not reacting, you know. Uh, so, obviously, these, those are the moment where, yeah, you got scared a little bit, you know, but that scare that helped you to focus and to make a decision quickly, you know. So, okay, I say, I need to touch down uh, now, I, I, otherwise this, the run is not enough. So then I need to go around, it. I go into the air, and then let's see, I'm gonna find a way to, to, to get safely somewhere where the mountains are, of course, not there. Uh, and that's, at the end, what I did. I really pushed the aircraft down, uh, I touched down firmly, start to break, reverse, uh, and if it wouldn't happen, I would to, uh, go around. Um, we arrived at the stand, the park stand with the captain, in silence, you know, <laughs> a little bit of sweat, I guess. Uh, we arrived at the hotel because we finished the, our shift, uh, still in silence, you know. Uh, also the cabin crew were silent that day. I think, you know, when also cabin crew have a lot of experience, they know what's going on you know, on a flight. And then, in fact, we arrived at the hotel, the captain told me, okay, let's change and let's uh, meet at the bar, let's have a beer and we're going to talk about what happens. And that's how also we 
face this kind of situation and to improve our, our you know, to learn. We, we talk about, we have a debriefing to analyze, you know, if we could have done something better, uh, what our, were our feelings, what our, you know, sensation about what was going on. And, uh, but yeah, definitely uh, sometimes we got scared, but in a good way that helped us to solve problems, to react promptly and to uh, avoid excessive risk. And that's why other people also ask me, okay, we, so we, if there is a phase of the flight that is more dangerous than other phases. Now, I don't think that the question is uh, correctly put it because uh, dangerous, you know, phase is more dangerous. I mean, there's no dangerous phase on the flight. Uh, uh, again, we need to understand what danger means. Yeah, of course, when we are in an aircraft, you know, in a, inside a tube with pressurized air, flying at the speed of the sound almost, uh, 10,000 meters, full of fuel. Obviously, it is dangerous if you put it like that, you know. But uh, what makes flying safe uh, is that we have margin around everything we do to protect us from a mistake, from failure, from anything. That is what specifically uh, makes aviation amazing. And that's why some people driving the car, for example, don't understand the concept of having safety margin around you. Uh, for example, those guys who drive the car just behind the other car in front at a very, very high speed, you know, and they believe now because I know how to drive, you know, I'm a good driver, I can stop anytime. You can be the best driver, but you don't have margin to maneuver, safety margin. So if the guy in front of you stops suddenly, you're gonna crash on him. No way you can save yourself, you know. Uh, but that's why instead in aviation we do uh, this, uh, we have margin and everything is redundant. Uh, so by saying that, which is the phase of flight where we really need to react as fast as possible because the margin are less than other phases. And it's not the landing, as many people I'm sure believe, is the takeoff. Why is that? I will show you with this guy. Okay, this is a 320, the aircraft I'm flying at the moment. And uh, so as you can see, no, there are two engines, you know, most of the airlines has to have at least two engines. And they push, you know, like this. So imagine the aircraft is on the runway. The runway is not very, very large, you know, of course, 45 meters. Some airport is uh, 60 meters, but it's not much. So the, the, the engines are very, very high power when you take off. And so if suddenly one engine stops working, and obviously the other one who is pushing creates a rotation on the aircraft like this, you know. And if you are on the runway, the aircraft rotate, it can easily go out of the runway, you know. There's not a lot of margin. And that is the reason why the phase of the takeoff is the one where the pilots really, really have to focus as much as possible and react very quickly. There's no margin, of, so much margin of error in the operation, and there's no much discussion. The action has to be done immediately to keep the aircraft on the runway and eventually stop or keep taking off if the runway is not enough. Usually, the procedure we have one speed, one during the acceleration of the aircraft. Before we reach the speed, if something happens, if we lose an engine, we stop, you know. And so we have enough runway uh, to stop the aircraft and the, the energy of the aircraft is not uh, enough to continue the, 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 the takeoff. But if we have already accelerated it beyond this speed and we lose an engine, we keep the aircraft straight on the runway, we continue the acceleration and we take off because the energy is enough the runway might not be instead enough to stop the aircraft and it's safer to go in the air, do our procedure and come back and safely uh, land, you know. And uh, so, of course, uh, <coughs> fear, uh, yeah, of course, this is a, a moment where, you know, we have feelings as a pilot, you know, we have our training, we have our uh, experience, but you need to know there are two guys in the, in the cockpit with their own uh, feelings that takes everything, uh, you know, safe for themselves, for the crew and, uh, and for, the, for the passengers so that everybody can enjoy the trip, can go to destination, holidays, wherever you need to go, uh, relax. That's why with this video I don't want to scare you, uh, quite the contrary, I want to, to, you know, make you understand that uh, flying is the safest uh, way of traveling even when pilots get scared a little bit sometimes, but the good, the good one, the good fear, okay? So, ciao, arrivederci, see you in the next video.